All right, so I've convinced myself foolishly to try another one of these modern masters drafts. Mark on my screen is driving me crazy. Okay, uh, um, so let's give it a shot. Oop! Wow. Okay. Well, we opened up damnation, so I'm gonna take that. Cool. That's exciting. How much? How many tickets is that? It's probably down quite a lot since being reprinted. Wow. Wow, it's down a ton. It used to be 20 something. Um, still might have been the best card in the pack. Um, Tandem Lookout was, was strong, has been strong in my estimation. Um, you know, I'm going to try to well, maybe we'll try to do something a little different than the last few. But that is definitely what I want to take here. Um, momentary Blink has been super duper strong. Um, Signets are great. Oh, we, I couldn't fault anyone for taking a Signet. I'm going to take Seagate Oracle. I'm going to try to do like Demir Control. We'll see how that works. I'm exhausted. I'm, I over caffeinated today and I have a huge migraine headache. So bad right now. But the wife's out. So, <laughs> so I get a chance to record. And um, we'll see. I, I've been. I'll probably end up doing a few more of these, actually, because I've been having so much fun with it, but... Ooh, that's pretty. Uh, but pretty does not a good card make. Um, this is kind of an awkward pack. I guess Rock's War Monk is probably the strongest card, but that's in Bant, and I'm not Bant right now. I mean, it's early anyway, but... I think I'll just take the Sanctum... In case we end up like Esper Control. <laughs> um, Wing Splicer. Seems like a good card. Chandra's Outrage is really good. Maybe that's a sign that red is open with that and Magma Jet. But... And uh, Arachnus Spinner was, was strong. But I'm going to take this Wing Splicer here. Um... I don't really want most of these cards. <laughs> I mean, oh, I guess I could just take that by uh, that can be played with just blue. These hybrid the hybrid cards trick me because I think it's like a gold card where you have to be blue white but you don't you could be either it doesn't matter so we'll pick up an aether toe here it's great against tokens that's for sure and it's just a nice tempo-y removal spell i'd really like to find a really strong five drop because it would be f very fun to go like damnation into strong five drop it seems good um I'll pilfer some plans. Sure. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, blame Brian David Marshall for posting all these Demir lists on his uh, Facebook. Um, Inquisition. That's a nice one. I only have two of these, I think, in my collection anyway, so I kind of wanted four. probably gone down quite a bit too. Oh, not really. Not that much. People like the old art better. I like the new art better even. Um cool, that tandem lookout wield, that's nice. Now, cards I'm looking to pick really high in pack 2 is Mist Raven for sure and um the 6 mana 4/4 four four dude, the horror
can actually see, maybe we'll get a really late wing crafter to pair with the tandem outlook. Doesn't seem terrible. Another tandem outlook, and there's the wing crafter. Now I'm going to take tandem outlook, lookout, tandem lookout. Uh, all right. might be a situation in which we poured that in. Sure. So this is certainly not the strongest modern masters deck so far, but that's okay. A lot of the trouble is like you get these people who play over and over and over again and they get so good that you don't really have much of a chance, to, to be honest, uh, after a while, especially the way the leagues are. It's not like you can get paired against a random bozo like yourself. Um, all right, well, this is tough because there's Agony Warp and Mr. Raven. I'd really like to take the Agony Warp, but I think I'm going to take the Mr. Raven here. There's a little Sidraxis Spectre, which could be a thing. No, I really want to take as many Mr. Evens as possible. So we're a little light on creatures. So I guess if the choice comes between creature and not creature, we take creature. Dunrova Horror, that's the one I was looking for. We're going to take that. Ooh, I'd like to have the foil on burial rights just for my collection. Maybe we can wheel the uh, auger bolus. I don't know about it, but I don't know about that. There's another graph cage that we could rare draft. Um, third tandem lookout. Okay. Let's just draw lots of cards. <laughs> Now I really want a wing crafter, and I don't really want to play this, but I, I don't have that many creatures right now. Shadow Mage Infiltrator in the set, that would be a cool card to have. I wonder how, I gotta look up uh, how much the Fetch lands have come down because it could be a really good time to pick up Scalding Taran and, and company. Um, God, a fourth tandem lookout? Do we really want to do that? Uh, I don't really think any of these other cards are that hot. I mean, yeah, Mystical Teachings isn't good here. This isn't Torn of Souls deck. Alright. God. I guess nobody likes this card. <laughs> it could be kind of funny if I just play a million of those, then eventually I'm going to draw extra cards, right? <laughs> um, well... I'd like, I, I, this raises the value of this as a two drop. Um, I mean, that I guess lets me reset them. All right. Grasp is just kind of like a better Aether Toe. Yeah, well, not necessarily. Somebody else is obviously in our color combination, so <laughs> I'm being stubborn. I should have moved out. Hmm, okay. 
Okay, there's one of those we wanted. I think the value of this goes up a lot when you have four of these. <laughs> it's like, I might be able to set up some situation where I'm drawing a lot of cards, but I don't have too many ways to actually finish the game here. Sorry if there was static before, I just noticed my volume was on on my speakers for some reason that causes interference. Jeez, is there a clearer sign that I'm in the wrong colors? If there is, I don't know it. Um, I really don't care. It's actually better than I thought. It exiles something, and it's just a non-land. So it's kind of like... It's actually really not that bad. Like, I thought this was way worse. Okay. Uh, but I don't really want another one. Wow. Wow. That blink could end up making the cut. Splash for it off of this. Our deck looks terrible. <laughs> but hey, whatever. <laughs> Doing this for fun. I don't want to hear, oh, you should have picked this, you should have picked that. That shit drives me crazy. It's like, no, fuck you. It's my money. I'll pick what I want. I'm trying to have fun. I don't care what you think is fun. I care what I think is fun. Alright? Um, well, Path is sweet. Um, it's actually so good it's even worth splashing for, isn't it? Um, and there's all these Golem cards that are good. No. I'm taking that guy. Broodmate Dragon, cool. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing good in my colors here, so I'm gonna, I'm going to rare draft that. Um, So I took the guild gate in case, you know, like if we get maybe one more than our, then splashing blink is like totally free, which seems good. Spell Pierce or Off Color Signet? Most of my stuff is threes, so the signets aren't as good here. I'm not like ramping to a lot. Um, God. All right. That for the sideboard. <laughs> Tandem lookout dot deck. Opponent plays the three three. We just lose. <laughs> yeah, this this did not work out well. So shouldn't force things. <laughs> 
moral of the story. But, um, whatever. I'm just, I suck at magic and this format, especially. No, I wouldn't say I suck at magic, but this format I've not been doing well. So, but you know, this is only my like fourth one. So, uh, sure. Oh, that's good. We did not get a lot of monetary value here either, so. <laughs> Set is obviously getting drafted like crazy if Damnation went from 20 to 2. Still happy to have one, though. Thrilled. Let's try uh, try out another bad deck and see how it goes. All right.